Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. If you are following the Repair Robot build, you probably know what is this. This is the power drill of the robot. And I believe I said I wasn't happy about its design, so I decided to make a new one. As you can see, I'll begin by making some lines on a paper, and I'll do that to try to keep the dimensions of this power drill. This way, the new design can match the proportions of the older model and also, but more importantly, the ratio and the relationship of the trigger and the body of the power drill. So I don't have to change the hands and the fingers position. And now that I have this kind of a map to follow, I'll begin by searching in my pieces collections to try to create the new design for this. And as I always do, I'm laying out the pieces on a flat surface to check the overall shape and find what I want to do. I decided that I wanted this black piece right here to be the main body of this power drill and I just have to cover the sides because this hose is not interesting for my design. To do that I'll use this 3mm styrene. I'll use CA glue to join this piece together, so before I apply the glue, I roughen up the surface with some sanding paper. This styrene is kinda thick, so I'm creating an angle to the edge of this piece. And I'll use these two pieces right here to kind of create the clutch system that every power drill has. So to provide me a better surface to glue these pieces, I'll just cover this hole with some more styrene. But before I did that, I worked on the back of the power drill and I used this piece right here which looked nice and kind of matched the angles of the other pieces. I don't remember exactly where this back piece came from, but I believe it's from inside electronic devices. And I'll also use this white piece right here. As you can see, this is an Ethernet cable connector and the trigger of this power drill will come down from these two pieces. I added some more styrene strips and matched the angles of the other pieces. This is how it's looking so far. I added some keys to the sides and also some MDF to the back. Now it is time to work on the trigger. And to create the trigger and the handle structure, I'll just glue a bunch of laser cut acrylic pieces. Now I have the handle structure ready, but before I glue it to the body of the power drill, I have to cover the holes of this black electronic piece right here. And to do that, I'm using this metal washer. And I also glued the structure of the clutch system. Now, with a quick thin coat of primer, we can better see the proportions and the shapes of the project. 
So I decided at this point to work on the clutch system of the power drill and I also did the chuck For the chuck I used this black piece right here and I know this is kind of odd for a chuck but this has to be big and bulky for a robot's hands. Some of you might remember this piece right here. I used this acrylic laser cut piece on the ammo belt for the combat robot build. This is a cool build and I think you should check that out if you haven't already. And I'm going to use this piece right here to kind of separate the power cables for the power drill. The cables will come out from the power drill and go inside the arm of the robot. Now I want to create a hole right here with this shape to fit this button right here where the power cables will come out of. Once the hole was big enough to accommodate the button, I used CA glue to attach the pieces together. Now I'll put some more work on the clutch system of the power drill. I want to create a shape right here that kinda looks like there's a bolt inside holding the two pieces together. So for that I'm using this tube right here that is actually epoxy putty. Then I glued a piece of acrylic to make the trigger and I shaved it with my Dremel tool. Now I have some holes and some parts that are not looking good by the nature of the process of gluing pieces together. So I'm going to cover these with some epoxy putty. Then I glued this neodymium magnet inside of the chuck and you'll see why in a couple of minutes. I added some final details to the body of the power drill. And then I glued some sequins to portray the rivets and the bolts of it. And now I feel happy about the amount of details that it has and the overall shape. So I just have to cover the whole thing with the final coat of primer. And so far I'm pretty happy with its design. I think it's way better than the last one. Now I have to work on the bits. For that I'm using this right here. This may look like a drill bit but this is actually from the insides of a computer. This is actually from the DVD disk driver. It didn't have a tip, a sharp point, so I did that on my disk sander. And I know that as is, this probably wouldn't work as a drill bit, but I think it looks good for the model. And as I couldn't decide if I wanted a hex nut bit or a drill bit, so I made both. And this is where the magnet makes sense. There's also a magnet to the end of the bit, so I can change it whenever I want.
So this is the new design for the power drill of the Reaper robot. I gotta say I'm quite happy with this design. I think it looks way better than the first one and I think it also works with the design of the Reaper robot. The first one didn't look like it was from the same universe or anything like that. If you came this far in the video, I thank you for that and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you want to go one step further in supporting the channel, there's my coffee link in the description box. Check that out. Also, I gotta say this is not the end of the project. This will become a diorama, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching.